to confess that I had gambled on my soul and lost it with heroic insouciance and lightness of touch. The soul is so impalpable, so often useless, and sometimes such a nuisance that I felt no more emotion on losing it than if on a stroll I had mislaid my visiting card. Hello, welcome to Magic Orthodoxy. My name's David, and this is the ultimate deck, which I guess would make this the ultimate deck review. Uh, when the ultimate deck came out, it was being reviewed and hailed on just several different websites, including Syllodrome.com and UltimateHunting.com. Uh, it's produced by Stranger and Stranger. They're a packaging design company that specializes in uh, alcoholic drinks, uh, bottling, and labels. Uh, typically, every year what they do is they release a custom Christmas bottle, but this last year they took a break from that and they produced this ultimate deck, which they had some help designing with Dan and Dave. Um, Stranger and Stranger recipients, uh, what they got was this custom box that came with two of these decks, and they were all wrapped up in a little um, soft bag, and it was really, really pretty. Um, each card of the ultimate deck features a custom design, and it relates to uh, the card's suit and number. Um, each one of these cards is beautiful, interesting to look at. Each one was produced and drawn by a different artist. All the pictures kind of have a slightly uh, macabre twist, um, kind of steampunk, kind of Alice in Wonderland, uh, for those of you who, who like that kind of artwork. Uh, it's artistically driven. Uh, each one of these cards is just beautiful to look at. You can just sit here and just um, just look through these cards for days at all the, the just the intricacies of, of the, and the details of each one of these cards. Um, the back design is an all-black bleed. Again, it has that same ambigram on there. It says Ultimate Deck, and it says Stranger and Stranger. Um, it is a, a full bleed all the way to the edge. These cards are printed by the United States Playing Card Company uh, using the finest premium card stock. Um, these cards are very lightweight. They're very flexible. Um, the tuck box is probably my favorite part of the entire package design. Um, it is embossed. It has a silver ambigram on the front and uh, it has a special uh, vintage-inspired stamp. Uh, actually, like I said, this is the best part for me. I, I, when I saw the box, before I even saw the deck, I, I knew I wanted it, and when it was called the ultimate deck, I just thought, wow, this is going to be some great um, <laughs> magic deck, and, and I kind of wish there were you know, magic playing cards inside this instead of uh, these art cards. Because to me, even having these cards in the box is almost a waste because the beautiful thing about these cards you know, are the faces. And so I, I almost wish that I had purchased maybe an uncut sheet you know, that I could have looked at and maybe had framed and put on the wall because really to have these cards in the box is, is a waste. The cards are just really beautiful to look at. That being said, I don't know that I would recommend playing with these cards. You know, when you pass a deck around, so often your friends will, you know, shuffle and they'll uh, bend and warp your cards because they don't know how to shuffle well. Um, so I wouldn't even use them for playing with, for just for that reason alone. That and the fact that they, um, that it was not a cheap deck to purchase. I also wouldn't really use this deck for magic or, or anything where people would have to readily identify the cards quickly. Um, some of these cards, you just can't uh, tell right away what the Pippin number are. So, um... I would just be a little wary on that. I think, like I said, this is more of a, a collector's deck. It's more of an artistically driven uh, deck. So kind of, that's just my opinion that, um, about that. You can purchase these cards uh, from dananddave.com. Um, this deck doesn't come with any, any gaff cards. Uh, um, so it's not that kind of deck. But like I said, it's a gorgeous deck. Uh, if you have the funds and, and you like artistically driven decks, if, if um, beautiful art, and, and that kind of uh, classically inspired deck is, is what you're into, I would definitely recommend taking this up. Thanks.